Both players right now looking for that grab, but actually Sweet Tea gonna get the jab. Sweet uh, Sour Spot of Roy's jab gonna not combo into the grab. And it's, it's all Sweet Tea so far. And he has him on the platform in position. Oh, very good uh, platform drop option with the up air. Yeah, Able to escape and tack on some damage for his trouble. That up air hitbox is actually rather big, and if you get the sweet spot, it's a great combo tool. <laughs> and meanwhile, uh, Sweet T just going to his character strength, throwing out a lot of those up airs and down airs with Ivy Slur. And doing a really good job navigating Cyro's best attempts to edge guard him off stage. But after such a strong start, Cyro's kind of really battled himself back into it, bought himself a little bit of a lead, and in a positional situation. Right, but he gives up his positional advantage, puts himself on the ledge here, but great parry onto the Razor Leaf. Sweet Tea try to find an open, gets the down tilt, puts him off stage once again. Down throw. Cyro going high and across stage. It took a moment to wait and pause and kind of get it figured oh. out. Good jab to up air, uh, up air finisher. Just nice cost of Roy. Sweet Tea looking for that up smash, but Cyro just playing the patient game. He knows yeah. he has the lead. He's going to play like it. Kind of the, like, <laughs> Shade, like shades of Zachary just kind of sitting and waiting for his opponent to do something. Not doing too much in neutral. Uh, no crazy dash dances, just waiting him out. I, I don't think that like should that be enough hole. to kill. Yeah, there it is. I feel like at that position, you know, he was stuck in the flamethrower. You could hit him with get up attack. Yeah. And it might have been a missed opportunity there for Cyro because he could have. Uh, that, that wasn't a missed opportunity. He picked it up. But he could have built up, you know, he had such a, a good lead going. And now Jacob roaring right into the lead. Sweet T looking so strong with Squirtle. Gets the flood or the hydro pump, puts him off stage. Ivysaur comes out, gets the neutral. And what a read on that forward smash, catches the roll in. And they're going right back into neutral. Sweet T has built himself quite a bit of lead. Down air hitting so far underneath the platform. Most characters, you know, it's uncomfortable when you're beneath them, but Ivysaur always has that little trump card. Down air hitting so far. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's definitely just been an option. He's thrown out a lot versus Cyro. Just poke him under that platform where he's getting pressure. Yeah, you know, that might come into play later, the side special he saw, then playing a little, playing chicken, you know. Cyro doing it really slow to see if he might catch Sweet T dropping his shield. Sweet T dropping his shield, or holding onto his shield until it's so tiny. Able to pick up the stock and he's got a lead. All right, there's the forward air. Gonna just try and get him off stage. Answer this stock very quickly. Doesn't get it though. And now he's got him off stage. And as I say that jab into the back air, not gonna kill quite yet. And yeah, that would have been a big pickoff. It would have really virtually tied it. Now he's gotta do it the hard way and pick up a pick up an opening from neutral. And that gives Sweet Tea the opportunity to start opening up a pretty big lead now at this point. Oh, Jab Jab doesn't find a follow-up. He is a little bit too high of a percent, I think. This should be an easy edge guard. And as I say that, he actually misses Cyro going high, unexpected. Up here calls out the jump, and now Cyro has to find a way to land. If, if nothing less, he has to touch the ground, and jump back, and an F smash going to be the two stock for Sweet T. Yeah, that range is longer than the sword. <laughs> Ivy Sword why? Ivy Sword threw his whole body into that. <laughs> yeah. Like takedown, no, no, the, the dash attack's more like takedown. That's more like a, we'll call that move headbutt, right? <laughs> and, you know, that you have Cyro flinching just a little bit from it, drops that first game. Let's see what adjustments he's able to make coming into game two. Uh, I didn't see what stage, did you see what stage they're going to? No, I was But okay. one adjustment he's making, he's going, he's masking up, he's playing on Meta Knight, maybe hoping victory is his destiny. Maybe, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, definitely the Meta Knight is a good pick here. He's very evasive with it. Gonna be a difficult character to find the kill on. I end up uh, going right back to Pokemon Stadium too. Maybe thinking the character change is gonna be enough, but Jacob picking right where he left off, putting in 64 damage unanswered. And that's kind of the, the hard part, Meta Knight, He's gonna shark around low on the ground, a lot of dash attacks. Try to rack up enough damage so they can start getting some upper strings. All right, and now he has him off stage. He goes really low. Dimensional cape onto the stage. Cyro does love the dimensional cape move. He's very prone to using it in any sort of sticky situation. And Jacob fortunate to get back. Meta Knight's so adept at edge guarding. You know, so many options back air. Mock tornado off stage. Let's see what he's got. Maybe went a little too low there. Maybe burned his jumps a little unnecessarily. 
Yeah, like I said, he's gonna use the dimensional cape to shoot to the platform. It has pretty much no lag if you use it from the right position. Able to get that hit afterwards as well, but not gonna find it. And the down air from the ledge is gonna close out that first talk. Yeah, that jump down air kind of caught Cyrus sleeping just a little bit. And he paid for it with his stock. And Sweet T going right to work. And no no Dimension Cape attack coming out right there. Might have had an opening. It's hard, always hard to tell. It's such a big commitment if you're gonna go in for it. You gotta be confident. You gotta know it's gonna hit before you throw it out. And they're going right back to the neutral. There oh, it is. That was just gonna pop it. <laughs> that was a. I don't know if that was a confident one. That was more. That, that was a reach and a half. But sometimes when you reach for it, you grab it, right? And he uh, took that stock and yanked it right out of the hands of Sweet T. And we're pretty close now at this point. Yeah, Jab could do a great job of just trapping the ledge here. He covers so many options right now. Yeah, that jab to edge guard, Sweet T, able to make it back, and we're back into the neutral game. Picks up a shuttle loop and gets himself a small lead. And it's pretty even, pretty close. He's throwing out that jab and that Sweet Tea able to roll through and get himself back on stage. Try to follow it up with an up air, but a good air dodge coming out from Cyro. Alright, dimensional cape for Cyro. Goes for the attack afterwards. Sweet Tea looking for a punish. And yeah, Cyro doesn't really seem to know exactly how to handle that ledge game coming out from, from Sweet T. You see Sweet T trying to poke him with some vine whips. <laughs> he got the poke on that. <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, is Sweet yeah, T gonna I mean, move or what's gonna happen? I feel like he's just trying to see what he can do against that condition. Yeah. Cyro into holding that jab. Might have walked backwards just a little bit and thrown out a forward smash or something like that. Instead, yeah, Cyro putting it at work, got that on the run down smash and got a mock tornado. And as you said, Cyro, you heard the, I heard the Dimension Cape want to come out. He, just, he got, he got uh, clipped out of it. But this time, Shuttle Loop, puppy. Shuttle Loop, that was a great conversion there from Cyro. Yeah, making it look like it's Brawl, coming with the grounded Shuttle Loop, closing out the stock. I poke him through the ledge. And Cyro looking good, coming in. Oh, almost big damage. If he connected that one up there, he would have been in business. All right, Jab's good, put the pressure on to Sweet Team Shield. Sweet T's got to find an answer here to close out the stock. He can't let Cyro run away too far. And he rolled through, tried to forward smash that new tech, but it looked like Cyro was way ahead of him on that one. He knew that the roll was coming on the jab. All right, Cyro playing the patient game right now, not over committing versus these razor leaves. He knows if he gets hit by one Jacob, a Sweet T, sorry, can't convert off of it. He gets the up smash, there it is, caught Cyro over committing just a little bit. All right, Squirtle combos for Sweet T right now, gonna be a quick 30% on Cyro, but Cyro landing with that down here, gonna try and get some sort of damage. And Cyro with such a lead, unfortunately for him, Sweet T's battling himself right back into it within striking distance. Maybe oh. one big hit coming out from Sweet T and he might even take a lead. And he's got the grab, he's in business. Ivysaur is out to play once again. Down throw, looks for the upbeat, not gonna find an air dodge for Cyro. Yeah, he might have I wanted a short hop too, maybe a little miss input coming out from Sweet T. But, oh, there he goes. Cyro's opportunity goes really deep after him. Yeah, not gonna find it, but he doesn't get punched too badly. He's back off stage though. At that time, maybe overextended just a little bit. Tried to throw out a dimension cape, ended up getting punished for it, and now they're back in. Oh man, that was like what a shield a poke. What a smash for Cyro. Yeah, he picked up the immaculately spaced forward smash. I think it's shield poke. I don't think Sweet T's finger left the uh, left the trigger. <laughs> he was holding that yep. shield for dear life. Just sometimes the shield's like, nope, not sometimes gonna work happens, today. <laughs> Cyro able to pull it out to a game three. This is the final game because we are in losers quarters. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's the best of three, not a best of five. And the Pichu's coming out. He's uh, changing it up. I'm actually kind of surprised. I feel like the Pichu is going to be a little bit easier for Cyro to kill than some right. of the Pokemon. One, but on the other side, maybe maybe Sweet T just trusting his ability to do Pichu things and do so much damage so quickly. This character is so powerful. Such a uh, you know 
You talk about risk reward and Pichu might be the definition of reward yeah. in this game for sure. Yeah, very high risk, very high reward. The definition of a glass cannon for sure. And there's Mock Tornado coming out in neutral and ate the Thunder Jolt. Well, this is looking like well, just gonna be staring on the ground, sees an option, and answers it with Mock Tornado. Oh no, oh, goes for the neutral no. grip, dives to the forward smash. That hitbox is very active. Yeah, so many lingering frames, and Cyro caught sleeping a little bit, did a standard get up when he probably, you know, any other option would have kept him safe. And that's kind of going the way uh, Sweet Tea was hoping for. Came out, we were unsure whether Pichu was going to be the correct pick. And so far, looking like a genius, saying, you know, this is, this is the right counter pick. And looking pretty good at guaranteeing himself a top four, possibly playing for more. All right, down tilt into the jab. Cyro doing a good job of making up this damage, trying to find the stock before he takes too much percent against Pichu here. And I don't think he even had the right read. It looked like he tried to throw out a neutral air. Unfortunately, Sweet T just a little bit quicker on the trigger. Let him battle him back onto the ledge, and Sweet T just going right back to the Thunder Jolt game. Very sweet, uh, very clean and deceptive. Just Thunder Jolt, Thunder Jolt, and then a rush in. Yeah, and I like the rollback there from Cyro, but not going to be able to get anything off of it. He's looking to try and find the stock, and all of a sudden he's at 86. He has to be careful. Shield poke back here right there. Cyro looking really scared of this Pichu right now. Goes for the dimensional cape. Doesn't want to die. Down here. I'm actually kind of surprised that that was the option. Yeah. Good down, down smash, smash though. Yeah, just got the tech roll in. Threw out the down smash. Yeah, why not? Let's get it going. All right, Cyro is still at two stocks. If he's able to find an early damage combo, he can even up this game. He's got to keep in mind, uh, Pichu is such a light character. You know, despite it being 41, that's, yeah. you know, Pichu does die early. That might be the one saving grace here for Cyro. Got to find the silver lining and everything, right? If you're trying to battle back. Yeah, up throw, goes for the thunder, doesn't find it. And Cyro, you know, he's been having such a difficult time putting the stock away. It's kind of let, or uh, yeah, Sweet T's kind of let Cyro battle right back into the game. All right, Dash Chat gonna be the answer here for Cyro. He gets some damage. He hasn't been able to find any sort of meaningful hit. Goes for the FTR on shield, Cyro gonna get up throw. Wonder why no forward tilt in that situation. He went in and got the grab instead. I don't know, but Cyro doing a great job of just staying alive on this stock here. Right. Eats a T drill, but gonna tech away, not gonna get hit with a photo afterwards. He's staying at 200% against oh Sweet my God, T. I shield. don't understand. <laughs> I feel like he expected that to do more shield damage. Yeah, he's probably going for the shield break, and it's like. It really did feel like it did a lot of damage. Drill, drill Rush, you betrayed me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> break the shield. Yeah, unfortunate for Cyro, and. It went from, you know, he was getting pretty close to Sweet T looking like a pretty comfortable lead at this point. Yeah, especially with the, the chip mechanic coming out from from Pichu. The stock lead is so pivotal in this matchup for sure. All right, back though, gonna force Sweet T off. Cyro looking for the mock tornado actually catches the getup. Oh, interesting recovery. It kind of chucked with the timing of Cyro. I don't know how Sweet T knew that, uh, yeah, I mean, that he was gonna go for the Trump. Okay, great dimensional cape. Cyro only staying at 58%. If he can just avoid, you know, some kill confirms from Sweet T, he's able to get this damage onto Sweet T rather quickly. He rolls on. A good adjustment. Avoided the forward smash that time and rolled onto the stage instead. But look for Sweet T to make some adjustments to cover that option. That's the second roll on stage that we've seen in a row. It might, pay, it might uh, play a pivotal role. Forward uh, smash? Big damage onto Sweet T. Oh, uh, he aired out to the ground too. He had all the advantage in the world. Dimensional cape onto stage, but doesn't have a lot of legs. Sweet T able, or not able rather, to find that F tilt. Yeah, it's the second stock in a row. Sweet T really struggling to close it out. And it's crunch time now. Winner, winner, whoever takes the stock is the and winner. The Loser F tilts goes are home. coming out for Sweet T. Dash track. Not enough to kill. Oh my oh, god. Does it get the grab? And you see Cyro being so patient, throwing out forward smash, trying to catch Sweet T slipping the forward tilt's gonna trade. He's not, not quite enough to yet. kill. 
And a Thundershot clipping the recovery. Koto should do it here. There we go. Yeah, that's going to do it for Sweet Tea. Closing it out. Valiant effort, Valiant effort from Cyro. 